Well, the cage is in, the engine is located, the pump is located, so now it's time to start doing all the systems, the steering, the gas pedal, the electrical panel down below, the gas tank, all that kind of stuff. That's all for the engine. So that's what this video is all about. Let's get going on that. All right, so the first thing that I did is cleaned up all the little brackets that was uh, with the old steering at the steering shaft. I'm gonna still use that. This this thing works good because it was, it was essentially matched to the seat and the seat position, which is kind of hard to get just right. So I'm gonna have Chris, uh, my friend and neighbor, come over. We're gonna fit him exactly to make sure that the uh, angle is everything. But uh, the steering is, it's pretty simple. It's a, it's a steering shaft with a sprocket on there, as you can see, and a chain that then goes to cables that run back to the pump and then uh, actuate a steering arm back there. So these, these pulleys and stuff are kind of a pain in the butt to get just right. It takes a long time. However, this boat, like I said, it is, I'm stealing everything out of this boat to take over, or the 146 to put into that one. So it's actually gonna go pretty quick because I, use brackets right off of the roll cage so everything should bolt right in and here is the old 146 so this is my bracket that i came up with it 3 8 super strong so no flexing no nothing the, the pulleys are kind of on a swivel system so they're always self-aligning so and then again the, the pulleys back there as you can see and then it goes across over to the control arm so i'm going to come out here steal these cables and pulleys and i'm going to start fitting it into the hole that's in the uh, in the garage okay so i stole the old bracket out of the 146 i got the cables uh, a couple of the little pulleys that i got and i'm going to throw that bracket in here it is uh, sitting in here and it mounts right here to the roll cage. So I'll turn the time lapse on, see how that goes. And then the next thing is to, I'll, I'll kind of explain what I'm doing here when I get the steering shaft in here and sit. I got to put the seat in here to figure out exactly where that sprocket's going to land to line up with everything and then start routing the, uh, the pulleys down the side of the boat to make sure that they don't skip or get bound up or anything like that. So here comes the time lapse for that. steering about as far as I can do right now until Chris gets over here and even once he's here there's really not a lot I can do other than fore and after the steering wheel so uh this thing is in here the way once I get him sat I'll have him I'll literally have him grab the steering wheel get it right where we need to be for his comfort and where his wrists and everything I found that that is super critical to get all that stuff right just right but the way I designed my steering shaft here is I just got to loosen up uh, this set screw and there's also a set screw on the back of the sprocket so these all slide on the steering shaft and I can slide the whole shaft and essentially get that steering wheel closer or further away from the driver so it uh, feels just right and that's why I left the steering shaft long back here once we get it all set up we'll trim that off the only other thing that I had to do all these this bracket just bolted right in from the 146 I just made this little bracket or this brace right here because normally you'll have a some sort of a brace coming down from the from the bow to kind of help anchor the end of the steering shaft so it's not moving every, anywhere it's it's pretty good up here um but if you get a little bit of slop in your bushings or whatever then all of a sudden your, your whole steering shaft is is messy so that's what this this thing right here is there's a bushing in in it as well so as the steering cable you you want these things like piano wire tight so as these are pulling this way 
this little brace is helping um, from pulling any side load on that steering shaft. Uh, that's that's what I just came up with, and uh, that's what I'm going to go with. They, like I said, they usually get braced from up on uh, the bow, but this is all just 80 thousandths aluminum up here. Not a lot of strength in that, and it also just kind of keeps it nice and clear. I know my foot already clears the chain, so I, that's why I opted to put it right in between, so it's not going to be in the way anywhere. So I don't... <laughs> It's kind of fun. I've, I've, I've had people ask me like, well, where do you get your steering system for your sprint boat? I'm like, at the sprint boat store, duh. <laughs> because there's, there's obviously, there's no place to just go buy a steering system. You have to come up with it on your own. So literally every sprint boat out there, um, somebody had to make it. There's no store to just go buy a, a cable and, uh, you know, a pulley system to do that. But that also what's, it makes it kind of fun. I enjoy that part i love solving the problems and engineering and stuff some of them fail some of them work great and that's what i've learned over the 12 years is is all my components are kind of getting better and better and one thing that i really like to have is a super smooth steering um but i also like the the cables nice and tight so you don't want any slop in, uh, in your chains or in the cables as they run full length so i do have to put some uh, another pulleys back here one issue is you can see it's not really an issue but these to keep everything aligned you pretty much have to have you got to match that the diameter of that thing so when i pull these tight you can see that those are nice and parallel so the only way to kind of that i have found to fix things from being parallel see if you can get a look at see how my cables kind of taper down that's obviously they're just temporarily clamped there but in order to get so you don't get any binding if you need to change the diameter or change the direction of those things it needs to be a long gradual transition um, otherwise you're going to be asking for trouble so it's worth the time to do it right the first time and make sure that those cables are absolutely perfect but anyway uh done with the steering for now until chris gets here and i'll work on some of those so the next thing i'm going to start working on is the the gas pedal down here again there's no gas pedal store that works just right for these um i i think there's not a lot to do other than i may have to slide this back a little bit because this whole roll cage is further back than what i was going to set it up with the twin turbo because i have less stuff i want to keep my my center balance right where it's at and then i'm going to move that that gas pedal back uh the fuel tank this is right out of the 146 all I gotta really do is, is uh, drill a couple holes in the engine rails, but uh, that's really about it. So I'm gonna start working on that and to get this video up online. And man, I'm like I said, this this boat is gonna go together really quick because it's all modular. They're just stealing uh, one out of the 146 and putting it in here, so it's going together really quick. I'm not having to fabricate from scratch a whole lot of stuff. The next build that will be completely different and a lot slower. So. Um, I'm honestly now at the point that I am waiting for the pump because once that pump is in there, I can finish the rear section of this steering and all the cables. I can finish the reverse lever and the mechanism and all that kind of stuff. So I am gonna be end up waiting for that. And if that's the case, I'm gonna sideline this boat and pull in the, the bottom sheet and get to go on the super boats. But for now, I will get to work on the fuel tank and the gas pedal.
what I got here is Chris, I just asked him, he's five foot nine. I'm right at six foot. So I had the gas pedal way up here. I essentially just made a couple more adjustment points. Everything is on, like got slots in it so the gas pedal can move for an app. If you're the only driver, you don't really need that. But there's always a point where maybe you're going to the river or whatever and testing it that it would be super nice to have your gas pedal adjustable. So I just went ahead and did that. These holes are access holes. These are drilled and tapped, but as you know, aluminum, it just never, those threads are gonna get trashed the more you do that. So well, this way I can access a nut on the back side of those. So no big deal there. So I've got, this is the four full aft position. This right here would be the full forward position. So we got quite a bit of throw on our gas pedal. However, um, and the other thing is you can see that I left this side over here it's not touching the boat because the boat slopes up. So that has to be adjustable. So I'm going to uh, see if I can, I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter, drill and tap, and then I'm going to put an adjustable um, foot that goes down and rests on the bottom of the boat. Because when you're, you're putting your gas on here, it's going to have a tendency to torque over like that unless it is weight right down on the boat like that. So that's the way I did my last gas pedal. It worked really good so that you don't get any of that flex, but so this is gonna get sloped a little bit, drilled and tapped, and then uh, adjustable foot. The other thing, it doesn't do any good if you're only your pedal is adjustable, your cable has to be attached to that too. So I'm gonna have to build a bracket that comes off here that anchors the, the uh, throttle cable. So I gotta figure that out. I can do that on the bench top, but I'm gonna get going on cutting that at a little bit of a slope and then drilling and tapping and getting those adjustable feet on there. And then I'll work on the throttle cable bracket. All right, sitting in the boat. I think we're all done with the gas pedal and the steering for now, as well as the uh, the gas tank is in right behind me. So I think you guys saw that. That was pretty easy, honestly. It fit perfectly right in between these engine bears. So uh, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. If it was, I, I, when I was going to put it in there, I was like, oh man, it's not gonna fit, but it fit perfectly. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'll turn the phone around, show you the gas pedal. Some of the things that I talked about. Um, this here is the little adjustable foot. So like I said, when this thing starts to torque down and as this foot, as this gas pedal moves fore and aft, if we need to do that, this, this is constantly going to change. So I made this slotted so this thing can move up and down, put a little rubber foot on it so it gets gripped. So that is pushing against the bottom of the boat. So that's number one. The second thing is this whole gas pedal is also slotted so it can move fore and aft um, about an inch, inch and a half. And I've got on each location and I have uh, three locations from, this is about the most furthest aft here. This is the second from the aft. And then I even have more holes up there so I can run this thing uh, fore and aft quite a bit. And then um, this is the hinge system, whatever, no, no big surprises there, but this is the other thing that if this gas pedal moves, you have to move the throttle cable where it's anchored with it. So I had to weld that essentially to that bracket, put a bend in it, and then put the little keeper on it. So now everything is uh, it's lined up. I, I had to figure out the height of this to get like the throw that I wanted on the gas pedal. It's nice and smooth. I really like that and there's there's the throw there we could always run that up higher if it's too much but that should work pretty good i always like to when i'm making my pedals in these boats it's so violent it's easy to kind of get thrown around inside the boat so i put things like this that your heel can it kind of cups your heel a little bit and then also something to hook your toe on so that your foot doesn't inadvertently come out and then also um, we have a two spring wick requirement. You can put them both on the carburetor, but you can also put um, them on the pedal itself. But even with the spring, I like to have something just in case those springs come off that I can hook my toe in there and back the throttle off. So that's the gas pedal. The steering as I'm sitting in the boat. Here's the whole steering system and then the gas pedals behind me. But I'm going to wrap that up for now. I got the gas pedal, the steering, and the fuel tank in. So that's a pretty good start for uh, this week, for the day. And uh, I'm kind of running out of things to do, to be honest with you, until I get the pump. Um, because that anchors everything permanently. And then all this other stuff, I can kind of finalize it. And it's going to be moving right along. So 
Um, that's what I'm waiting for. Anyway, I'm going to sign out and put this video up line, hopefully tomorrow, Thursday. And uh, I'll start thinking of what I want to do. If I want to keep kind of plinking around on small things on this boat, or it might be time to get out the 907 Superboat bottom and start welding on that, doing the roll cage, all that kind of stuff. I'm kind of leaning towards that. Time to get going on that. I just talked to uh, JRE down in Australia, and they're getting close to dynoing that thing. So he just said, man, they... One thing after another down there. So they have flooding right now. The uh, the block was sent out to the machine shop to get it decked. And as soon as he gets that back, final assembly, dyno, and then ship it to me. But there's flooding, so now he can't even get to the machine shop to get the block. So it's like, oh my God. One thing after another. Um, anyway, um, they're hanging in there and hopefully going to get that block here pretty soon. Final assemble that thing. And man, so I want to be ready when that thing gets here. The pump is already here. The, the hole is sitting out in the other shed out there and ready to get welded together. So I'm, I need to get going. I, I want to, there's a lot of boats being built and I can't really just stop and, and have any downtime. So if I'm in a stopping point with this boat, so be it on to the next one. So anyway, thanks for watching. Starting to ramble. I'll get this up line.